Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about water treatment plant. So let's look at the example first. Water treatment plant. Start the water pump to transfer the water, then filtration for 30 seconds, then addition of chemicals for 5 seconds and then pump 2 will be on to transfer water into storage tank. So for this example, we will use normally open contact. With that, we will be also using some timers like pulse timer and on delay timer. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this water treatment plant example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here, we have to add our inputs and outputs. We have only one input that is a start button. And then we have some outputs like pump 1. That is an output. So its address will be Q 0.0 and then we have uh, the process of addition of chemicals and the process of filtration so I will write filtration then we have chemical addition and then we have pump 2 that is used to transfer water to the storage stack. After that, we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will zoom into it. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be for start button and this uh, coil will be for pump one. After that, when start button, is turn on then the pump will turn on and with that the process of filtration should go on so this coil will be filtration and the process of filtration will go for 30 seconds for that i will use a timer operation here that is a tp and this tp the precise value for this timer will be 30 seconds because the filtration will go on for 30 seconds and after that after 30 seconds so when start button is turned on then after 30 seconds that means there will be an on delay timer of 30 second 30 second and after 30 second the addition of chemical will start for that i will insert a coil for addition of chemical that is chemical addition and this process should go on for 5 seconds so for that i will insert a timer that will be tp the preset value for this uh, timer will be 5 seconds and after that after that that is 30 second and 5 second that is after 35 second pump 2 should go on so when start button is turned on and after 35 seconds so that means there will be an on delay timer here the preset value will be 35 seconds and after 35 seconds pump 2 pump 2 should get on that is pump 2 should get on so when start button is turned on the water is uh, transferred by pump 1 and with that filtration process goes on for 30 second and after 30 second addition of chemical for 5 second and then pump 2 gets on after 30, 65 seconds sorry this is 35 seconds pump 2 will transfer that water into uh, the storage tank so i will start simulation here click on ok Click on load and then finish. After that, 
I will start CPU and then I will start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. I'll go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. I will right click here and then load project tax. So here we need to turn on start button. So when start button is turned on, pump gets on and with that filtration also goes for 30 seconds. And for those 30 seconds, this, uh, this process will wait for 30 seconds. So 13, 14, So after filtration process, the filtration will stop and then chemical addition will start. So as you can see here, chemical addition has started and it will go on for 5 seconds and after that it will stop and then pump 2 gets on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.